Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Nerd in Denial. Uh, this one's going to be really quick. We're only talking about three episodes of an anime. Uh, for anybody who's not been here before, I'm Matt. I'm Sam. And this is where I introduce my fiance Sam into nerdy properties of anime and superhero, mainly anime these days, uh, because she is a nerd in denial. Mm -hmm. Now today we are very excited and late, like really late, yeah. like three weeks late. We didn't know. Thanks Crunchyroll. Um, we're going to talk about the return of one of our favorite animes, Seven Deadly Sins 2, episodes 1 through 3. We just watched them last night, and we want to talk about them real quick. So, we're going to start where we always do, mm -hmm. with the opening. I like the opening. Yes. Very rock, very nice beat, mm -hmm. very much um, like what this show is, and I like the visuals, only because now I understand some of them. Reading the manga, yeah. <laughs> just so you know. Um, you know that bit at the very end where the guy who swings a giant axe down, he's like bigger than everybody in terms of muscularity? Mm hmm That's the seventh sin. Oh. Yeah, so look forward to that. Okay. But, really good opening, really good visuals. You can tell that the animation budget's been a little increased, I guess? Cause yeah. Things look a little brighter. Crisper. Yeah. But still the same art style, which we love. Mm -hmm. Still the same comedy, which we love. Still the same characters, which we love. Yes. Though Hawk is more annoying. Oh, God. So annoying. I just really don't agree with the decision to introduce power levels into this show. Mainly because power levels are stupid. Giving somebody a numeric value to their ability to fight. Mm -hmm. Kind of just... There's a reason why they don't do it in Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super anymore. Because it, they don't matter. Yeah, and then there was that whole tiny, funny thing with Hawk. And it just... Where he thinks he has a power level of 3,000. Because he just 30. didn't listen. Because he's really... But that's Hawk. He doesn't listen. Yeah. But that's been my only gripe with this season so far. Thus far, we have a lot more plot. We have a lot... We have subplots. Yes. Because Bond and King have gone on their own little adventure, and the fairy tree is fine, well, ish, growing. Bond's mm -hmm. still looking for a way to resurrect his girlfriend. I forgot her name. Yeah. Oh, and King has been outcasted by his entire race. Elaine. That's it. Elaine. Um, but King has been, you know, yeah. outcasted by his entire race because he left, which <laughs> I knew... Going in, you you were like you would hate this. That's not the ah. Uh, I could get over that. What no? What you hate is Diane's memories coming back. <laughs> <laughs> I teared up so much. She was doing good. Did she oh no? But let me ask you this: Remember that bit where Diane's eyes kind of turned purple? No. Yeah. What do you think that's about? Did you just hate a man? I don't know. I don't remember. <sighs> Pun intended. <laughs> also, go speaking of memories, Guther's an ass. Fuck him. I don't give a shit if you're a fuck doll. That's a bullshit. How dare you? How dare you? I don't hate him as much as she does. Because I kind of understand it. He's kind of like an autistic kid. I understand it. I get it. I don't care. I don't like it. Can't help it. I get, I don't care. No. My least favorite. Yes. My least favorite. And we have the Ten Commandments to look forward to, so this will be fun. Mm hmm Yep. I know what's coming. To a degree. I stopped reading after a point because she got mad at me. Okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, first three episodes, I thought were a very good start. Mm-hmm. It's being, it's, it's going, but oh, at the yeah. same time, it's not. If that makes sense. I like that it picked up perfectly with where everything got left off. Sort of. For the most they part. Had to, they took one scene that happened at the season of finale of uh, one and went, that didn't happen, it was a dream. Yeah. But. But. <laughs> uh, that's going to be, yeah, but yeah. Everything else mm -hmm. kind of yeah, went no. nicely. I love how <laughs> deus ex machina kind of way. Uh, Meliodas gets his sword back. Mm-hmm. Merlin's like, You pawned this. I had I bought, it. I bought it. Because Being a you, badass. Because she's like, Because you a dumbass. I love Merlin. Yeah. She's fun. 
There were some costume changes. There were some costume changes, but nothing like... Like, Diane's got a collar. I think that's it. And I think the... It's, it's a little... Uh, and then Bond's got a jacket with a hole. In the back for when he gets stabbed. <laughs> that's what I think it's for. Because he gets stabbed a lot. Yeah, it's funny. Um, Meliodas gets something that has, like, the name of the bar on the back, and it's nice. Uh-huh, yeah. But... Um... What else do we need to talk about? I mean... Well, let me ask you... I mean, so... There was that one... Uh, fairy who even said... even said to Bond, No, you're a human. You're not fit to be king. Harley Quinn is the most... You're just here to feed the tree. Mm-hmm. Where do you think that's gonna go? Because that kind of sounded sinister. I mean, I don't... I don't think they're gonna do anything to Bond, but... I mean, if they could... Like bleed them dry forever, <laughs> just but, to feed the tree. Yeah, I mean technically they're never gonna fully bleed him dry. You know what I mean. But but there's a lot of potential where these things can go. Mhm. Um. Right now they're in Camelot. Mm -hmm. Arthur's fun. I like Arthur. He's Arthur's fun. Um. New demons that get annihilated. I miss this show. It's oh god. I'm so glad to have it back. Mm hmm This is going to be a good season. Overall, super excited. Honestly, glad we are late mm -hmm. so we can watch these in succession. Yep. But we'll start trying to talk about Seven Deadly Sins on a more week-to-week -week basis. And they but will be significantly shorter episodes. Just to, oh, just kind of like an overall reaction to the show mm -hmm. or that to that week's episode. Our thoughts, where we think things are going, theory, stuff like that. We'll keep it short, but... I don't have any interview questions, mainly because everything I've asked it was more is in more of regards to a full show, mm -hmm. other than a question, where do you think this is going to go? But I don't feel like I should ask that question if I don't fully know myself. Mm -hmm. Understandable. But as always, uh, while relatively short, and by relatively I mean really, 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 really short, this has been another episode of Nerd in Denial. Please follow us on uh, like... Subscribe if you haven't. Share with your friends. Follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Patreon with our brother channel, The TokuCast. Patreon.com slash The TokuCast. Link in the description below. Mm -hmm. Follow us on Stardust. Where oh, yes. We've posted a couple reactions to non-anime slash superhero things. Just the other stuff that we like and we want to get our thoughts on. If yep. you aren't uh, a member of Stardust, we highly recommend it. It's a fun way to just get your thoughts out there. And you can share with us... Mm -hmm. Dogs want to get in on it, too. <laughs> but as always, we'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody. Bye.